Okay, Virgos. All right. So I was just talking and the camera wasn't even on. So let's go back over this again. <laughs> These are the cards that came out. We had the World card, the Tower card, the Emperor card, the Chariot card, the Two of Pentacles, and Three of Pentacles. So what I was saying to you all before, you know, before I realized, oh my goodness, the camera was off and I was all into it and everything, Virgos. What I was saying to you all is that somebody's having a Tower moment and there could be an Aries um, or somebody who's on the cusp of Aries that uh and, and a cusp of aries would be a taurus or a pisces or a, like i said or an aries that you're closing out a cycle with like you're saying i need to go ahead and close out this cycle and that's what you're being rewarded for you're being rewarded for from source now i'm putting all of my energy my fire into my purpose closing out cycles could mean a lot of different things right it could be like the negotiation of an agreement right so now that i've evolved to this and you've evolved into that person Let's sit down and renegotiate, or it can be a, a complete, I'm cutting you off. Whatever it is, renegotiating or cutting off, you're not the same person. And so now, because if you want access to my universe, this is what I need from you, because that moon right now is in Cancer moving into Leo. And so moving into Leo, we're not talking about any Cancers or any Leos that you're talk, that you that, that you know. This card right here is uh, Cancer's card right here. When you when the moon is in Cancer, as you're feeling it right now, if you're watching this on uh, Sunday, your primary concern is security. There's this deep instinct to nurture and protect yourself first and foremost before anybody else when the moon is in Cancer. So what you're saying, and, and so not only that, when the moon moves into Leo, you seek an active flow of praise and love from others. That's not being conceited or uh, it, we're talking about healthy, right? Meaning that you're going to acknowledge all the good, the sacrifices that I made to give you access to my universe. Doesn't matter if it, who it is, family members, friendships, whomever, you're going to acknowledge that because I'm not going to keep on just giving, 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 and I'm getting all this acknowledgement and praise from complete strangers, but I can't even get it from my spouse or my uh, family members or people that have access to my universe. People outside of my universe are giving me praise and, and adoration to things. Great job, this, that, and the other. I can, I can see the greatness in you and all of this. But people who have access to your universe, you putting everybody on notice. Everybody is on notice as of now. I'm not worried about being liked. I'm worried. I'm, I'm concerned with my respect. So that's what I'm seeing for you all. So kudos and congratulations to you. I'm serious. Congratulations. And I'm talking to you if you have Virgo anywhere in your birth chart. So and because I have Virgo on my birth chart, I'm talking to me too. So that's that's the, the primary focus for somebody is like, I would rather be respected than liked. If like means you can disrespect me and not nurture me and, and give me some positive feedback of how I've made, uh, you know, my efforts in your universe and I've made you feel nurtured, protected and secure and you can't acknowledge that, then, then, you know, so that's what you're being rewarded for. Somebody is recognizing several things. You're not, we're not, we're not each other's gods, right? We're not. So you can't force a person to say what, see, somebody's dealing with some energies who have a God complex that will, instead of them thanking you for the efforts that you've made to make people feel secure, nurtured, and protected in your universe, they will say they will come back and say, I didn't ask you to do all of that. Oh, really? Okay, you only have to tell me one time. <laughs> one time. I didn't have to? Okay, thank you. Got it. I'm not offended. No nothing. Let me let me detach. So that's what I'm seeing for you all so far. Somebody's now being more conservative with their time. I love it. And so you being more conservative with your time here, um, I want to make sure you see the card, the four of pentacles. Somebody is no longer being posted up trying to figure out, you know, you know, what can I, can I get something right? And what can I, do I, I need to jump through more fiery hoops to get some kind of praise or adoration or even a thank you. I'm not interested in bread crumbing anymore, being bread crumbed anymore. Ten of, pen, ten of wands, somebody's moving on from something. See how many times that you've been enlightened? One, two, three. Somebody has been enlightened that many times. Enlightenment could look like somebody blow torching you, telling you you ain't need to do all of that. They're telling you that, you know, or some kind of an awakening has happened. And so now we had to have a tower moment. Now we had to have a tower moment. Sometimes it's subtle. Sometimes it looks like when you don't give people what they need to make them feel protected, secure, or nurtured, they just stop calling you. That's also that right there. 
They just stop calling you. They don't reach out to you. They're not checking on you to see how you're doing. They waiting for you to call them back. And you say, well, I was thinking about you. I just wonder, well, I was thinking about you too. But they never picked up the phone to call. Yeah, they, somebody somebody is upset about something. And again, you being less and less, you're investing less and less time into you know, somebody's attitude. Congratulations to you all. Here we have the Empress card. We also have the King of Cups. We have the Eight of Cups. We have the um, Ten of Cups. And then also the Seven of Cups. Somebody had a Kundalini experience. This is the Seven of Cups right here. Right? Yeah. When people not get what they want, Source already showed you. They're not at making the same phone calls. They're not, they're not reaching back out to see if you need anything. Are you hungry? Are you thirsty? I'm just checking and calling and say, I love you. Just calling and tell you, you know, they're not checking on you in the office. Oh, I'm just checking to see if you want, we're all going out to lunch. Do you need anything? Because somebody created boundaries and enforced them. Ten of cups. And now look at you and your inner child. Y'all feel so protected and at peace. You and your inner child just spinning around, you know, under a rainbow. So here we have the Empress card. So I do see somebody going through a, uh, a rebirth here of abundance and prosperity. And again, this is really about balancing things out. Here we have the um, King of Cups and also the Eight of Cups. So somebody is definitely tossed some things into a burning bowl and moving forward. So there's nothing, I mean, because we're not, we're not robots. Everybody has emotions and feelings. It is kind of, you know, it, it, it can kind of bruise your emotions, like bruise your, you know, a little bit where you like, wow, you know what, this is the thanks that I get. Sometimes it's like that. But somebody is like, you know what? I'm wise enough to know that when I feel when I feel like I need some extra nurturing, I'm going to go do what nurtures me. Sometimes it looks like going to a beach. Sometimes it looks like going roller skating. Sometimes it looks like going to buy yourself some ice cream. Whatever it looks like for you, Source is saying you poured out a lot of creativity, creative ideas. You poured out a lot. And so somebody is somebody is moving on. Somebody could possibly be moving south of wherever you live right now. Somebody could be like moving south of something, right? Where you're like, okay. Um, so whatever you're doing, congratulations. Congratulations, congratulations to you, congratulations. So somebody is definitely um, moving on from something, packed up and moving on from something. So when I look at all of this, when I look at this, um, Virgos, the source has been trying to get somebody to create some boundaries for a long time. But if you look at your life in general, either somebody has been um, somebody has been really lax in their rules in both their personal and their professional life. And so source had to allow some things to happen for you to get real serious about your purpose and thus saying, I need to create some rules, um, some traditions here. I need to get real serious about um, enforcing those rules, um, or yeah, that was it. Here we have coexist. We have the, um, the queen of wands, the four of cups, the God card. Like I said, somebody had a God complex. We have the, um, seven of pentacles and also the wisdom card. Mm -hmm. Somebody definitely had somebody, some people definitely had a, some, some people are having a tower moment. Some things are happening. See, these energies right here, the, the, the energies that have it, somebody's having a tower moment. These energies, these people with the God complex, they use everybody as pawns. Everybody. They don't care. They don't, they don't really have any. They see everybody as their subjects. You know, like I always say that we, we are not each other's gods, right? I'm not your God. I'm just delivering a message here, but I'm not anybody's God. So I say, you know, take what resonates with you. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay. If it resonates, great. If it doesn't, okay. You know, um, cause this is a general reading, but there are some people who will try to berate you and re really make you feel bad if they cannot manipulate and control you, control your emotions, control your finances, control your thoughts, control your ideas. They really feel like in their mind that they are the God of your universe. And so that's where some people are being brought all the way down to the lowest frequency to, in order for them to cry out to source, right? And so source is saying, and you have a great amount, a great deal of wisdom as to how all of this works. And so here we have the coexist. Those energies absolutely would want you to coexist with their foolery, right? But you're not interested in coexisting with people who have a God complex. 
Because there's no humility in that. There's just like they, they have to constantly be, you know, struck by lightning because of this stubborn behavior. Before there's this outburst, you know, you don't know what mood you're going to catch them in. You don't know what the, what's behind the, the moodiness. You don't know what's behind the, the blowtorch one minute. It's like warming up to you. The next minute they're going off on you. You don't know if they're being, you know that there's spirits inside of them. Like that's controlling that. And you don't know if that spirit is a result of drinking or whatever the spirit is. But for you, it's, it's again, somebody, some people with God complexes. Anyway, here we have the queen of wands. I see you feeling happy, charismatic, and free, you know, of that. And I see you moving on. We have the four of cups. This is exactly how the energy sit around. It can be in grown, uh, grown people's bodies with their arms folded, like waiting for everybody to come wait on them hand and foot. But you've moved on. Here we have the seven of pentacles. I see somebody saying, you know, it's harvest time for you all, first and foremost, because whatever it is that you're walking away from, and it, it has to do with your creativity and your emotions and money. That's what somebody, that's why somebody's walking away. When I say money, I'm talking about stability, security, your patience, your tenacity, your career success, your um, your prosperity. All of those are going to increase because you're balancing out, releasing them and their energy off of your scale. So you're going to see start seeing more of your money. That's why I said it's harvest time for you all, Virgos, because you know, some people are delusional. The moment a person starts basically wanting you to bow down to them. Oh, no. Mm -mm. It's time to run because you are literally in the presence of a demon. Anybody that wants you to bow down to them, get this in your spirit. This is with no shame and no, you know, no shame and embarrassment about exiting stage left from the, the presence of a demon. You are in a presence of somebody whose demons have taken over and they running wild and <laughs> they running wild and running rampant. So for you. Oh, no. Nah. You got a manager like that. You have. You are in the presence of somebody's demons who have taken over them. They're under. They're under the. Uh, you know, the spiritual warfare and the demons have taken over. But we already know how that story going to end. That's why they're having a tower moment because God always wins in the end. Here we have the high priestess, the seven of swords, the nine of pentacles, the devil card. Did I say it? The four of wands and also the seven of cups. See, at first, energies think that you're afraid. You you chain to fear and doubt. If if um. You know, if I do the silent treatment, let's talk about some of this fire right here. If I burn them out, if, I, if I'm nice one minute and I'm blowtorching the next, or if I leave them in a state of confusion, or if I cause them to have low self-esteem, oh, somebody else is doing better than you can, or somebody is giving me more than what you can. I feel nurtured and talking to so-and-so and so-and-so, -so, like people using, you know, family members against each other and all of that stuff. You said, okay, I had a tower moment. My tower moment was like, you know what? If you feel like you can find better outside of me, then you know what? Let's let's stop the argument right here. Just go. Just go do it. Go find If you feel like you can find something better, then please do us both a favor. <laughs> go over there. Please go over there and close the door behind you, please. Here we have the uh, high priestess chorus. So somebody is definitely, intuition is on a thousand. This is uh, 11, right? You step through those pillars. Somebody is now tapped fully into their gifts and not afraid. I'm telling you, somebody is definitely in their purpose and somebody is celebrating something. Somebody is definitely celebrating. So somebody's celebrating a physical move away from something. Um, somebody is celebrating, feeling like a huge weight has been lifted off of your shoulders. Somebody could also be celebrating new love in your life. And also somebody could be celebrating being booked and busy because you're operating in your purpose. So your energy level has spiked. You're just like, wow, I feel so good in my purpose. And here, this is what you're headed towards, financial independence. So yeah, you can defend your decision to move on from something without coming across as defensive because the moment you start thinking about certain people, your thoughts go to this, to your lowest frequency. I could strangle that person. <laughs> That's what somebody can look like. This, I mean, like literally when you get to that point where you feel like, okay, I'm having some real dark thoughts about some people, it's time to detach. Or when I'm starting to go back, when I step down off of my throne and I'm starting to go back to, you know, some of the old eating habits or some of the old ways and stuff because emotionally I don't feel like my spirit is fed. So I'm going back to, I said I was going to stop eating cake or sweets or, you know, having sugary drinks and stuff like that. And I'm going back to that. And that's just on the light side of some things. Somebody may have started going back clubbing again or whatever it is you're doing. Um, like I said, there's no judgment over here. My point to you is that something that you said, okay, I, I, 
delivered myself from. I'm going back into that. I'm now spending my money on getting back into some things because I've been emotionally manipulated. And so source is saying, mm -mm. what you're going to do is recognize that you are not their God. You're not going to let them contaminate your emotions by acting like you're their God because of your, your, your age, your, your status or position or whatever in their life or whatever. And feeling like I know more than this person knows. They're like, mm -mm. I'm going to let, I'm going to let the tower. I'm going to let you have a tower moment. I'm going to let you have an awakening just like I did. I'm not your God. Grief. Tears are what happen when the ice in the heart melts. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yep. So. Somebody crying. Here we have, you're very close to achieving your goal. I'm going to put the questions for the moon and Leo below because uh, we're moving from the moon and cancer, which you all have those questions in the last video. I'm going to put the, because we're moving into a new moon in Leo on the 16th. So this cycle is closing out. Somebody is so locked in and laser focused on their humanitarian efforts to help better mankind that you're like, you know, I'm, that's outside of my universe. I, you know, that's outside of my universe. So connect with the earth. You are an earth sign. It's time to do some grounding. It's time to get rooted and grounded and start looking at this earth as, um, you know, source did not put you here on this earth for you to suffer and be crying all the time about stuff and being used and abused by people who are, who have God complexes. That's not why you were here. That's not why you're here on earth. We're here to help each other, not hurt each other. And so somebody with a God complex, good luck with that. They're going to have to be brought down to wherever. Here we have the uh, three of wands. We have the eight of swords. We have the fold card, the emperor card again, the lover's card and the tower card. Dang, somebody was really, somebody was really surrounded by people with God complexes. So here you are. You're saying, listen, I don't care if you don't like me. I will be respected. I'm tripling down on that. Another tower card. That's the that's the awakening. Somebody says. Somebody's like, you can think what you want to think about me, but you're not gonna disrespect me. Do I need to pull out some receipts and how I have nurtured you on several occasions in the way that you needed to be nurtured? And the the first time I asked for some nurturing, I get burned. Oh no. Uh uh. In a state of confusion, you don't know what's going on. So somebody said, I don't. I'm not overthinking this anymore. That's self sabotage. I'm not overthinking this. So somebody is doing this, loving up on themselves, right? Somebody is saying, you know what? This is about, this card is about partnerships, right? So that's what you're sending out into the universe. You're sending messages out into the universe that I want energies that keep me motivated. You know, I have mental clarity, whether it's in business or in love. I have mental clarity. I feel inspired. I feel motivated. I have, um, I feel empowered in these relationships, whether again, whether it's personal or professional, those are the kind of relationships I want. I don't want to be, you know, connected to a mess. Here we have the um, full card. Somebody doesn't feel like a fool. Somebody actually feels liberated, changed, and free, actually. So here we have the three of wands here. So like I said before, this is wonderful because source is saying this expansion all around. You see how this person right here, you can see they're kind of on the edge, but they're looking over a lot of water, right? They're looking over a lot of things that they can be happy. Like somebody's thinking about, I'm going traveling. I'm, I'm getting ready to meet some new people. I'm starting businesses. I'm doing all kinds of things. That's why you see right here, but the two of pentacles sources and an additional stream of income because a lot of wonderful things are coming, are happening as a result of somebody tripling down and saying, no, I'm not coexisting with people who have a God complex. I don't care what your title position is, how much money you have. I'm not coexisting with that mess. I don't want to be contaminated by that. I'm not your God. And listen, these are this is these are the rules. If you want access to my universe, and I'm not infer, I'm not afraid to enforce them. That's what I'm saying for you all. So kudos and congratulations to you. So some people got some wake up calls. They got some wake up calls, and you, like this person right here, are smelling the roses. You out here self love. We talking about the color pink right here and that color pink right here, that color yellow right here. Green is growth all around you. Somebody feels liberated and free as the air. You know, somebody is just like, somebody's giving off a different scent. Somebody's giving off the scent of self-love and empowerment. That's the smell that you're giving off now of the, the scent of empowerment, self-love, freedom, growth all around you. That's what somebody, that's what somebody feels like now. Like, like, you know, if I'm giving off any kind of a scent, it's not a fear and doubt and what you're going to say about me behind my back. I'm giving off the scent of freedom. 
Freedom. Yes, that's what somebody's saying. I feel free. I feel liberated. I feel like a changed person. So, sacred waters. 35. Drunken by the swell of the sea, I can feel the blanket of her embrace, unafraid of the presence, releasing the cords. I call her and I call her deeply within. So when I tell you that somebody's doing some cord cutting ceremonies in their house and some burning bowl ceremonies and they're going outside to do some grounding or grounding in your living room or wherever you're grounding, I see somebody feeling liberated. This is wonderful, Virgos. This is absolutely wonderful. That's the whole purpose of somebody having gone through this is because somebody just, you know, you maybe maybe it was a fear of creating some firm boundaries or something, but uh, you know, but here we have five, five, five. I am optimistic. That's why you have these three um, emperor cards up here. That's right. I'm optimistic moving forward. I am not going backwards. The number five means a pivotal point in your life, right? So I'm not going back to caring about what people think. I would, I'm going to sacrifice my respect and dignity just so you can like me. That person is gone. Remember when the moon was in Aries? A moon in Aries is about burning your former self and your, your, old, your old world beliefs, right? So you are not that person anymore that if, if I would rather sacrifice my dignity and self-respect or being respected um, for you to like me, that person is gone. That went out, that went, that burned up in the burning bowl. <laughs> so I toss all of that into the burning bowl. That's how laser focused you are. So a major shift is about to come into your, your life experience, Virgo, and change your past direction. So be open and stay positive. That's right. I am optimistic. So if you're grieving anything, you're saying bye-bye to the old person. That's what you're grieving. and But you're not going to be grieving for long. Bye-bye, old person. Hello, new person. I'm about to... <laughs> <Woo>. <laughs> I love it. All right, Virgos. Mm, 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 mm. Woo, I am happy for you guys. I am so happy for you all. I'm serious. Um, where is it? Let me see. Last card here. Last card here. Oh. <sighs> See, that's how, see, when you look at this, Virgos, you can see how people really take your kindness for weakness. You can really see how, like, you can go along with the flow as much as you want to. And some people see it as like, wow, you know, uh, Virgos are highly adaptable. Let me hurry up and get my stuff together because I don't know how long this is going to go on. So let me see what they need. Let me see how I can nurture, uh, nurture um, Virgos, right? But when these moon, when this moon moves through these zodiac signs and when it hits Leo, this is about, I need some positive feedback here. I need some positive feedback about how, you know, some appreciation here, right? And so be grateful for this moon moving through these zodiac signs because you definitely have been dealing with some people with a God complex. Like what? So... Kindness, I actually pulled out two. Okay, so you got two affirmations. Affirmation for kindness and affirmations for peace. First one, I am full of loving kindness, period. I am full of goodwill toward those around me. I am surrounded by warmth. I embrace all wholehearted kindness. I'm grateful for generosity shared by others. My smile could make someone's day. I allow the kindness in my heart to run free. And then affirmations for peace. Waves of peace are washing over my body. See, they don't understand how much at peace you are at this moment, right? You're, you're so at peace. If you, can be, <laughs> if you can be any more at peace, oh my God. Here we have, I find stillness in the eye of the storm. I am stronger than my circumstances. I release all feelings of anxiety. I am free from overwhelm. Today, I smile because I'm alive. I am blessed to be here now. All is well and I'm healing. So that is what I have for you. That is what I have for you, Virgos. Like I said, um, keep winning. I mean, for real, like keep keep um, planting those seeds that you want to grow. Everything is perfectly aligned for you. And again, somebody just had to come out of that mindset that I'm going to sacrifice my my dignity and self-respect for to be liked by family members and friends and people at my job and all of this other stuff. No, you will respect me. Or guess what? You have zero access to my, my universe. You can tell whomever, whatever. That's what I'm saying for you all, Virgos. And I will see you all on Midweek Wednesday. Bye.